All right, so a little girl decided to take your trash and turn it into treasure to help needy children around the world. Fox 23's Jana Clark takes us on the road to Sand Springs to meet Gretchen and all of her friends. Let's go to Pat. Two bopping blonde-headed girls go door to door, not to sell stuff, to collect stuff. Bags of trash. Hey, she has a bag for us. We're not asking for money. Okay. We're asking for people's trash. But not just any trash. Clunky, clingy cans. Eight-year-old Gretchen Autry wanted to earn some money. Her parents gave her the idea. Oh, she loved it. And with the help of her little sister Reese, she's collected enough cans to make $400. A girl like Gretchen could buy a lot of stuff with that much money, and she has. Pigs and chickens and other stuff like rabbits. But those critters aren't for her. She bought them on a website, Gospel for Asia. She's sending animals to villages. That's really, really, really far away from here. Let's see. Where children don't have enough to eat. I think it's pretty sad on how these children don't have any homes or food. Her empathy, a lot of eight-year-olds don't have that. Gretchen was going to bed one night and realized some kids don't have a bed. Gretchen knew oh she gosh. had to do something. That's what started Gretchen's friends. She asked her Sand Springs neighbors to save their cans. And every Saturday, she and her sister collect them. Some of the old people around here just have a couple and some of the other people um, have a lot. It's like trash to everybody else but for us. It's just like, wow. <laughs> the girls pile all the shiny noisiness in the garage. And I'm happy that I get those cans. Then spend the rest of the week crunching. It's been a lot of hard work. Oh, come on. Honestly, we thought that they would quit. <laughs> But they haven't. They're such hard workers. Bloody sweating, kind of. And their mom's doing her part. Yes. I mean, I, I drink a lot of Diet Coke. <laughs> I think half of these bins are just full of Diet Coke. When the pile grows big enough, their dad delivers all those cans to the dump. I give them to the recyclers, and they take all the bags and dump them into this big basket. And then they put it up on this big layer, and then that tells how many pounds the cans weigh. And they trade all that aluminum for cash. And then we leave. Gretchen goes online to see what she can buy. She's got her eye on something big. We're just trying to get to $1,000 to get them a Jesus well. So an entire community can get clean drinking water. <laughs> to buy that, Gretchen's going to need a lot more cans. That might take a lot of saving. Yeah. So she put out collection boxes at churches and businesses. At 55 cents a pound, she'll need more than 1,800 pounds of cans. It would take a lot of work to get all of those crushed. And that's probably going to be tough. But Gretchen knows she and her friends can do it. We're going to be swimming in cans next thing you know. On the road in Sand Springs, Jana Clark, Fox 23 News.